What's up, my YouTube people? Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. As you can see, we're back out here with the flock. But it's only part of the video today. But again, thanks for clicking on this video. I greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You might like what I got going on. I post twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Fridays are different videos. Those are our trip videos. Now this coming... But today, as you can tell, it's feeding time, so everybody's just going nuts. You saw Quackers at the beginning of the video. I can hand feed him. That's him right there. Not that one. That one's ass butt. That was Quackers. Goblin Wobble are finishing up their food, cleaning up their messes. I just got to make sure they stay in front of me. It's all puffed up. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I had to go take care of something. But, I don't remember where the heck I was at now. But anyways, we had something weird happen this morning. It was really strange. One of my chickens might be a rooster. Yeah, how weird is that? Now, I don't buy straight runs just for that reason. I buy pullets. Now what does that mean? That you only get girls. So it's a little strange that I have a rooster. And I'm having a feeling that it's that one right there. That's Phoenix. It's the only oddball looking one. So I believe that's the one that's been crowing. Which I'm not too thrilled about having a rooster, but oh well. I'm not getting rid of him. That is why he has to stay in front of me. Is the turkeys can get a little aggressive and intimidating, especially when they're puffed up like that. But anyways, I also have a question for y'all that actually watch these videos. Now, it's a major question. I'll show you why when we get in the house. And that is... Would you like to see me build some outdoor rabbit pins? Yeah, I'm thinking about building some. I'll show you why when we go in the house. But yeah, I want your honest opinion down in the comments on if you would like to see me build outdoor rabbit pins. So, let me take you in the house real quick, and I will show you why. Yeah, I have a feeling that's the rooster. But anyways... I'll take you inside and I'll show you why. Okay, as you can tell, we are inside now. Back here in the pup's room. Little boogers. Cute little boogers. But, the reason why I'm asking if you want to see me build some outdoor bunny pins is... I... got two more. So there's three in this cage. And two over here. Whoa, sorry, too close. Two over here. Now, I believe I have the whole, well not the whole family, but pretty much all family. They're all family. So, there is girls over here. So I have two girls. That is Lola and Jill. And over here is Jack. Because he came with Jill. Because I first had Lola and Jack and Jill. The two new ones. Now the biggest one right there in the pea pan. His name is Bugs, I believe. And then that little guy right there. That's Doc. And then that's Jack. I already had Jack. This is the boy pen. So, I do not want more. That is not the reason why I have so many. I got these two from the same lady. I got those ones. That's why they're all family members. Um, she didn't have the room for them anymore. And whatnot. So she offered them to me. And I said, why not? So, and yes, I figured out how to tell boys from girls. I will show you that in a later video when I go to take them outside. But yeah, so... That's Bugs. He's neutered. 
And then, yes, they all have certain markings on their ears, so I can tell them apart without a problem. Yeah. This one's Jack. Yep. And that one's Doc. Now, if you don't get the Bugs and Lola reference, it's a Looney Tunes reference from uh, Bugs Bunny and his girlfriend Lola. And then I just call this one Doc. Because, what's up, Doc? Yeah. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me build some outdoor bunny pens. Now, they're not going to be like the regular bunny hutches. They're going to be slightly different. And they are going to be partially on wheels so I can move them around from place to place. Now, they're all doing good. Except for all the boys keep trying to mate with each other, but, you know, it's inevitable. And you can see I got a piece of cardboard on the wall back there. Or on the back of the cage protecting the wall. Because they keep spraying, which isn't lovely. But yeah, so. Hi, Bubba. Bubba wanted to kiss. Okay, so let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me build those. They're not going to be like regular, as I said, they're not going to be like regular bunny hutches. They're going to have a whole different design. They're going to be along the lines of my quail hutch, but just a little different. Yeah, there's these two over here, or three, learn to count. And this one's Jill. That one's Jill. The bigger one right there, that's a Lola. They are all marked. I can tell them the difference, tell the difference just by looking at them. But yeah, now the two girls I already had. I just got two more boys. So yeah. And that's their box of donuts. Sometimes I buy a box of donuts and I forget, so they get a fun crunchy treat and let them go hard. Yeah, so everybody's doing good. Oh, and Phoenix is a rooster. It sort of sort of showed me. So, I'm gonna stop rambling. So to all my Loyal watchers, please let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me build some rabbit pins. I'm not calling them hutches because they're not really hutches, they're going to be a little different. I'm just calling them rabbit pins to go outside because they are going to get a little ripe during the summer. So I think they have a lot more fun outside. So again, let me know down in the comments on if you'd like to see me build those. The whole process, it might be build the male pin first and then the girl pin later. Now these pins will be only for the good weather. When it starts to get cold, they will come back inside. I don't want to leave them outside. Especially with like the Arctic, Arctic blast we just had. That bird is just talking away. But anyways, let me know, let me know down in the comments. As I said before, if you'd like to see that or not. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this video. That was just a couple of odd things that happened today and the question I had for y'all. So now I have a rooster. Might be able to incubate some eggs. Hmm. Who knew? That's weird because I don't buy roosters. I buy pullets. Oh well. It is what it is. I'll deal with it. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Will we look at the puppies? So thanks for watching Just What I Do Today. Please leave an, an answer to my question down below in the comments. And subscribe. Don't forget to whack the like button. And I'll catch you next time on Just What I Do. There he is. Say hi everybody. Say hi YouTube people. Yeah. Close up. Oh that's a crappy angle. There we go. That's a better angle. Say bye everybody. Okay, later taters.